All right, guys, welcome back. Today, I am going to teach you guys my version of how to paint a juvenile trout. So, I've already painted this jerk bait, opaque white. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take some opaque yellow by Wicked Colors, and we're going to uh, just lightly dust each side. Not across the back, not across the belly, but just the sides with uh, this yellow, just lightly. like that. Pop this other one over here and do the same thing because I'm doing two right now. Alright. Just like that. So next what we want to do is um, I want to paint some pinkish colored bands down each side in the and this is the color that I just mixed up. You can make whatever color you choose. Still, all right. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to take this, we're going to take this pink that I made. Make sure you guys can see that perfect. All right, cool. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this pink. And you'll see this lateral line right here going down the sides of the jerk bait. And what you're going to want to do with this pink is pretty much follow that lateral line. And uh, you don't, you can make it as wide as you want, but I prefer to make them somewhat thin for the most part. Alright, so what we're going to do is just take this. Uh, needle tip cover off. Turn your turn your pressure down to probably around 20 psi. Do the same to the other side. Then uh, the next step I like to do is paint the cheek that same pink color.
Alright, clean that out. The next step, we're going to move on to some pearl silver. Now to kind of fade this pink, we're going to hit across the entire back, the belly, and the sides with this pearl silver. Alright, just like that. So next, what we're going to want to do is take some opaque gray. Got some opaque gray. Now what I'm going to do is make some vertical bands down this side on each side of these jerk baits with this opaque gray first and then I'll walk through the next step after that. The same to the other side. Do the same to the other one. So now, I'll take the needle tip cover off and we'll add some gray dots in between these gray vertical marks we just put on here.
part will add a little tiny gray in the center of the cheek. And then we'll add a few gray dots down here towards the belly. Alright, on to the next one. Next step is uh, pretty simple, but it requires a specific paint. Won't work unless you have this paint, and it is by uh, Bass Color, and it's called Bass Change Blue. So unless you have this color, you will not be able to complete this next step. You can order this online or get it from some local hobby shops. Not all carry it. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description of my uh, video where you can pick this up off of uh, Amazon if you decide you want to do this paint job. So what we're going to do now with this fast color, fast change blue, is paint down each side of, of both of these baits with this fast color, fast change blue. like that. Alright, so next we're going to heat set this with the blow dryer and then swap out to some uh, pearl gold. Now swap over to your pearl gold, set this up like this, we're going to go with this pearl gold across the back and have it blend down each side a little bit. And this color you can go as dark as you like. I just based it off of the color of the trout in your specific area that you're fishing and where I'm at they vary you can catch dark ones or light ones so I just do it uh, wherever I feel like it's good enough
Alright. So with that step, move on to the next one. Now we've got the goal done, what we're going to do next, switch over to some transparent chocolate. Once you switched over to transparent chocolate, what you're going to want to do is go over all of the gold that we just did across the back with the transparent chocolate. like that. On to the next one. Alright. So now, we're done with that. Now, the last thing I would like to do with this is take some pearl white, and this is optional, you can leave it how it is right now and call it good, or you can take some pearl white and just lightly dust the sides with pearl white. Then you can either put eyes in it, clear it, and call it good right there. Or what I like to do is add another feature, which is some black dots across the back. Some have them, some don't. Um, it's totally optional. Depends on how the trout are in your area. I add my black dots is uh, I have a old airbrush needle I pour some paint in a, on a cup dip my uh, back end of the needle into the paint and then dip it again just to knock off any excess that I don't want because you want these dots to be as clean as you can make them and then I'll just dab on some dots I'm only going to do one of these like this because I don't want to take up too much of the video putting on a bunch of dots.
this specific paint job on this specific blank has caught anything from nice sized brown trout to smallmouth bass in the river and uh, largemouth bass out of ponds. And uh, I'm sure it would work for a lot more other species, but unfortunately where I'm at, we don't have a lot of carnivorous species. So anything that will eat other fish will most likely eat this. That's it. Now you just add some eyeballs, heat set this before you clear coat it or else you'll make a big mess of black smeared paint all over the back of your lure. to add eyes and the color eyes I like to use on these are a yellow with a black dot they're a shiny yellow um, you'll see how well it looks when I pop these in and then I will clear coat at least one of these so you can see the end result because a lot of these paints don't really pop until you add the glossy finish. So we'll do that and you'll see it. And then we will call this video a wrap. that. Oh, man.
clear coat I'm using is Devcon 210 Epoxy. If you watched my previous videos, you already know that. Uh, you can buy it from anywhere, pretty much, online and Ace Hardware. Uh, pretty much any of those places. Alright, so next. We're just going to clear cut this real quick and then I'll get some close up shots for you guys to look at. Alright guys, this is the finished product, all clear coated up. Um, as always, if you guys have enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, um, please feel free to leave this video a big thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment. Uh, if there's anything you guys would, li would like to see me paint for you in the near future, uh, just leave me a comment on what it is you want to see me paint. Uh, I don't have anything lined up for a while, so now would be the perfect time to ask me if there's something you need help with. Don't hesitate to ask me. I'm by no means the best painter but I know a lot of tricks and if I'm able to help you I will do my very best to pull it off and help walk you through whatever it is that is giving you a hiccup so uh, yeah uh, if you're not already subscribed please feel free to subscribe to my channel we'll be doing a lot of interesting things in the future as this channel grows and um, yeah uh, I don't know I think that's pretty much all I have for you guys so uh, I'll get some still shots of this bait that I finished and uh, have those here at the end of this video for you guys to see and yeah that's it as always thanks for watching guys and hope you guys take care until the next video Bottles, poppin' bottles